First and foremost, we are cannabis consumers. We are cannabis connoisseurs. We are cannabis cultivators. We are cannabis curators. We're not here to bring you solely the highest cannabinoid profiles. We know test results don't always tell the full story of a flower's terpene expression, which is why we hunt. Not just for the quote craft grown, but for the true top shelf. For that experience that makes your senses tingle when you pop a pack open. For that inhalation that coats your taste buds from puff to puff. We're not looking for right now. We're looking for the future. So put on your shoes and follow your nose. Welcome to the Flavor Chase. 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 I'm your host, Loner Mob, and thanks for joining me once again. If this is your first episode, the Flavor Chase is an unbiased public cannabis consultation series for the emerging type 1, 2, 3, and 4 cannabis markets. If you're unaware of what type 1 through 4 are, please do check the description in this video, and you'll see. And once you see what those are, you'll know that I'm looking for the top shelf in all of them. I want the best flower, the best concentrates, and the best edibles, and I want to see who has them around the country right now in these emerging types type 2, 3, and 4 markets, as well as inside California's type 1 THCA dominant cannabis market. If you like content like that, please do like and subscribe, hit the subscribe button, please do, you know what I mean, just run it up, run it up, right? If you really want to help me out, and by no means feel obligated to, but I can't make money off uh, YouTube for, for, for the basis of what I'm doing, so if you check the merch link in the description, you see what I got for sale, none of this shit that I'm wearing right now, but some shirts, some hats, some beanies, you know, simple things like that. If you, think, if you see anything you like, please do cop, right? Your help really does, your help really does help support the channel, and really does help things get to a next level. I really do thank anyone who has who has done that already. All right, now that I set my whole little spiel, in this draw right here is some type three CBD dominant cannabis flower from High Alpine Genetics based in Colorado, right? Full disclosure, I paid for this order. I paid for eight grams. I don't know how much time it sent me exactly, but it looks like a little bit more than eight grams. And this is Alpen Flow number four. So what's this one talking about here? All right, well, if you've been watching the show, you know that I checked out uh, Alp and Flow from Flow Gardens, right? And this strain here is a collaboration between Flow Gardens and High Alpine Genetics. This is the Flow Gardens in-house proprietary strain Flow crossed to High Alpine Genetics Alp and Glow, right? Alp and Flow. Makes sense? Of course it does, right? This is phenotype number four that Thomas is selling. I believe phenotype number five was being sold by Flow Gardens. And the phenotype number five was a type two experience, right? Pretty potent type two experience here. This one here should be more of a uh, type three CBD dominant experience. But let's pop the top on this jar, see what this one smells like, what the nose is like, right? And then what it looks like. And of course, we're gonna break it down and do the rest. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Smells really good. Smells smells really good actually. Uh, similar similar to uh, similar similar to Alpen Glow a little bit, right? With some of the floral kind of colony elements to it, but something else different though that uh, that the Alpen Flow from Flow Gardens did not do. And for all intents and purposes as well, this is a living soil grown flower versus the uh, hydroponic grown flower from Flow Gardens. Um, and this one here is like a much bolder version of the flower from Flow Gardens, right? There's kind of a bit of Alpen Glowness to it, but there's something else that's happening in here where it's like a more of a rich, a rich, a rich earthiness, right? A rich earthiness and then with some Alpen Glow kind of terpenes on top of it, right? So some more terpenaline on top of, the, of whatever this else is happening in here. It smells really good. It smells really good here. Uh, I believe this one here ran me for about, uh, what was it? I think this one here ran me for about... 30 guys i think it's 30 bucks for eight grams or 35 or eight grams on this one here does smell really good and the buds themselves they do look nice not as nice as the flow gardens ones the flow gardens flower was much prettier but this one here is like a like very homegrown kind of look right you get like a full branch right the full the full nug right so it does look it does look really cool really bits of really nice bits of uh dark green orange hairs light greens 
small, small little hints of purple um, and really nice trichome coverage in this one here. What I'm going to do is just start taking little bits off this nug right here, off this big bud here. And the, feel, the, the feeling of the buds too, very sticky. Very sticky. As just, just taking the pieces off here, you know, the, 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 the cannabinoids and terps just stick to your hand. So the cure on this one here is excellent. It's that type of stickiness that, you know, feels like it's going to be very easy to roll. All right, well, look, I'm going to grind this down. I'm going to grind this flower up and roll it up. And while I do that, why don't you check out these photos of the flower real quick. And then when you come back, we'll pretty much be ready to have our smoke session. And yeah, once you grind the flower down, it is a much bolder scent, a, a very bold, very bold, earthy and kind of floral and cologne, kind of an Alpen Glow kind of, kind of scent, right? It's Alpen Glow terpenes on top of a, of a rich earthiness. Okay, we got the joint rolled up and what we roll it up with, a Doobie Ninja rolling paper. Shouts out Doobie Ninja, one of the sponsors of the show. You want to help reforest the world while you burn trees down? Please do check out Doobie Ninja. Each pack you purchase helps to, helps to support reforestation efforts happening right now in California with aspirations to go global. Who, want, who doesn't want to see regenerative permaculture food for us happening everywhere, right? It's something that we need, especially in these times right now. So you want to support the right efforts, you want to support the right movement, Check out Doobie Ninja Rolling Papers. They support Loner Mob and the Flavor Chase. Give them a look. All right, back to this flower right here. What's the dry hit hitting like? Very, very nice. A very nice flower, right? Sim very similar to that Alpen Glow, right? But with, with that rich earthiness on the, on, the, uh, on the bottom of it that's really like rounding out the flavor. Hopefully, hopefully that flavor remains once we light this up and we'll see what the taste is like and what these effects are like. I'm going to get to my smoke session and give you my thoughts. Flavorful on that first hit. Smooth. Smooth. Nice, noticeable taste. It's that earthiness remains, and so does the, uh, the floral elements on top of it. Unlike the Flow Gardens variety, so far this one burns a darker colored ash. <laughs> Very tasty with a nice resin ring that starts to wrap around the joint pretty early into that smoke. Okay. And as I get closer to the finish line on this joint, <clears throat> I think I'm ready to get my thoughts on this one here and find a shelf placement for it. So where is Alpen Flow number four from Flow Gardens going to land on this shelf? Is it top shelf, some good mid, some okay mid, or some boof? Well, let's find out. For appearance, Alpen Flow number four is a very pretty flower, a very uniquely pretty flower. Not as pretty as the Alpen Flow from Flow Gardens, but more of a homegrown kind of look to it, right? Something that's not trying to look exotic, but trying to look more like a classic cannabis. The color on it is beautiful. There's nice lights and dark greens, small hints of purple, orange hairs, and plenty of trichome coverage. Um, but it is a looser structure, right? It is more, it is more of, a, of, of a kind of a spear kind of structure, right? It is, it is a bit looser. That's one thing. Uh, does it look good? Yes. Have I seen prettier flowers? Yes. Can I admit that too? On to the nose of Alpen Flow number four. It's bold. It's bold. It definitely, it definitely is expressing itself. It is, it is pretty loud. It is actually pretty loud. And it's a rich earthiness with a very floral and kind of alpine glow 
cologne kind of terpenes coming off of it right so it does have a really nice smell to it um uh, it, it, it definitely stands out. It definitely stands out with, with, with against some type twos. It stands out against some type ones that I've had. It, it, is a, it is a very nice smell coming from this one here. Could it be louder? Of course. As loud as you can make the flower is as loud as I want to smell it, as loud as I want to hear it, as loud as I want it to talk to me, right? This is a, this is a good flower with a really nice nose, but that would be the only thing that really holds it back, right? As far as the taste is concerned, really nice taste right a really nice taste the the earthiness that rich earthiness actually does come through on the lead inhale and that exhale still retains some of the like that and the alpen glow right yeah it's like it's like you're exhaling a bit of a cologne to it right it's really it's a really nice really nice and flavorful flavorful uh uh, taste of this one here um and one that is unique it is very unique uh, i prefer the taste on this one here a bit more actually than the um the alpen flow from flow gardens here the nose and taste on this one here are better but that one is prettier right now on to the effects here this is a type 3 flower right this is a type 3 flower cbd dominant flower the effects of album flow number five from flow gardens is a type 2 flower so there is a bit more thca content in there that will hit you and give you a little bit more of a buzz right this one here does have a bit of a buzz to it it's not without effects but it is lighter in effect in comparison to its type 2 sibling right this one here still has a kind of sativa-ish feeling, right? Similar to the uh, to the MN Tangy that I had from Cornell Urban Ag Agriculture, uh, a headband feeling, right? Wraps around the head, right? It, uh, it 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 massages the face, right? You feel kind of like that eye clench. You feel something around your nose, something kind of around the jaw, right? Something like like a massage, right? It feels kind of like a like a massage, not a heavy intense pressure that you might get with some type one, right? Especially if you if you have low tolerance, and you hit so you hit a joint, and you kind of feel that head change happen, and it's pretty intense. Nothing like that with this one here, right? This is going to be something that kind of creeps up on you a little bit more if you're of lower tolerance, right? If you're of lower, if you're of lower tolerance, it might, it might, it might be a little potent for you, right? You may want to have a little bit. A little might go a long way, but if you're of higher tolerance, this will be like having a can or two of a truly, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing too wild, right? Nothing, nothing too, nothing too crazy of a buzz. You should be smooth. That being said. Where's this flower gonna land? Well, it has a really nice and unique look, but not necessarily a top shelf look. Right? It has really nice and unique smell. Really nice and unique smell. Not necessarily the best, but does does smell really good, right? Does smell really good. It is pretty loud, right? Uh, it has a taste that also retains its nose, right? Earthy and floral and Colony, right? Kind of sweet, right? It's a, it, it does it does it does all those things. And if you're looking for a Type Three experience, it's a very enjoyable Type Three experience. I'd put it up there with say uh, the side piece from Clutch City Farms, right? Maybe the side piece number two or number five, right? Those have a pretty decent effects to them. This is kind of in line with that. So on that note, I'm gonna say Alpen Flow number four from easily some good mid easily easily the mid that you'll reach for right you know right this is the one here that it it uh it don't it, it smoke better than it look right this is one of the ones that smokes better than it looks right it has it has a beautiful look to it a very unique look to it but not necessarily an exotic look right but the smell and that taste is really is really and, those, and the, actually the effects on this one too really 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 earned at some points man before the feds take it away from us it's just so dope that we can have this experience where we can just go online and order some cannabis and let it just be that, right? And just let it be that. Really dope. Really dope time to live in. Outside of all the other craziness. <laughs> all this craziness as of late. You know what's even crazier? That it's always someone looking for a player to hate. But we too busy. We got flavors to chase. So put on your shoes. And follow your nose.
Welcome to the flavor chase. We in search for the fire. That tropical Kool-Aid mixed with burnt rubber ties. That we throw up in the paper, we favor and roll it up. Look like Olympic torches, we hope we showing up. Type one, type two, type three, type four. What I want, what it do, what I need, my dro. This be my show, going out to all the coasts. It's the flavor chase, player and loner mob the house.